my, my name is uh, Phil Calvert and uh, I live about a mile over here from the field and uh, uh, I flew as a uh, as a teenager back in the 50s and then out of that I took some, started taking flying lessons and made uh, flying my career and, and uh, so uh, last year at, uh, at uh, age 76 I finally retired and so I'm back playing with models again. Uh, this, this particular model was designed by uh, Don Deloche who uh, is the uh, editor of the uh, Free Flight magazine and it's a, it's a, a, it's a nice uh, entry build and, uh, and uh, trims out well and flies real well. Uh, it's a, what they call an E36. I started out pretty humble in a, in a J3 Cub. It uh, started taking lessons when I was 15 and sold it when I was 16 and, uh, and uh, flew a little bit of everything. Uh, for the last 30 years of my career, I flew uh, Gulfstreams, which are an international business jet. And uh, I had the privilege of uh, visiting 106 countries and six out of the seven continents. And, uh, and uh, Got to fly a lot of very, very interesting people in different parts of the world there, and uh, so I, it was a, it was a fun career. I flew probably a little longer than I should have, but, uh, but uh, when you do something you enjoy, it's uh, it's kind of fun to continue it there. So I flew uh, one former president, a number of vice presidents, uh, uh, several prime ministers, uh, sheikhs, uh, princes. Uh, I've worked in Saudi Arabia for 11 years, so I met a lot of interesting people. The most rewarding one was uh, in the uh, late 80s, I was flying for a, uh, a company in uh, Phoenix, and uh, I ended up flying Mother Teresa. Uh, she was, that was before she was made a saint, and uh, she was just a humble person. Uh, she had a, uh, her nun uh, robe on and, and a pair of sandals and had a little brown bag and in this little brown bag was all of her worldly possessions. What she had on her back and that, uh, and, and uh, just you know, what she did for the poor was just, it was just really remarkable. So, uh, I've, you know, I've flown, uh, like I said, some, some very unsaintly people, but uh, <laughs> she, she was truthfully a, a, a saint there. Uh, first of all, the way they keep this facility is just unbelievable. I get, I probably get more out of my membership than anybody else. I, I'm a runner, so I, I run. Uh, I've been training for, I ran a mini marathon again here this year, and, and I do a lot of training on here. I, I, I bicycle, so I bicycle some here and on the trail. Uh, of course, the, the models, I fly all the models. And then the AMA has a nice, great big pond up here, and we, uh, we race sailboats on it. We race, we race uh, electric power boats, but there's so many turtles in it, we've ripped the bottoms out of our boats, so we went to sailboats. And uh, in fact, uh, Michael Smith, uh, the uh, the museum curator uh, just got a boat this summer, and, and uh, he's been sailing with us. So, uh, like I said, I I probably get more out of my AMA membership than anybody in the world there living this close. So.